Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Depending on the size and complexity of the database you're creating, you may have multiple switchboard forms in your database. Simple databases usually don't require more than one, however, and if you have a switchboard that you would like to appear at the startup of the database, you can specify which one you want to run by specifying database startup options. Now to do this, you would close all your open database objects, and then select Tools from the menu bar, and roll down and click the Startup command. This brings up the Startup dialog box. And here you can use the Display Form Page drop-down and choose the name of the form that you want to display at startup. You can also uncheck the Display Database window checkbox to hide the database container at startup so your users won't mangle your database. You can even type in a new title for your database application into the Application Title text box. Set any additional database startup options that you desire in this dialog box, and then click OK. Then the next time that you open the database file, it'll open the form that you selected, and it'll also behave in the manner specified by the additional settings set in the startup dialog box. So here the form comes up that we selected, and when we click OK, notice the database container isn't shown. We can go back to Tools and choose Startup, except that we can't even see the container. So if we simply go to File and choose to open the database again, then the container comes up. If you'd like to change your options now, you can go to Tools and choose Startup, and set any other options you would like. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.